Hello! The purpose of this video is to help students find the assignment that's due Sunday night, uh, September the 18th, which is watch video areas of rectangles problem in Revel and upload to Canvas solution for areas of rectangles problem in Revel. So what you do to locate the, this video is you log into Revel and so I've logged into Ravel and there's a couple of ways to get there depending on how your uh, particular installation is set up. One thing you can do is hit continue reading and over here in chapter 3 the chapter 3 programming exercises is where this video and problem are located so when I click on chapter 3 I'll see over here on the right hand side that the area of rectangles problem is the one I'm talking about and the video here is the one the video that we're talking about but another way you can get there as a student um, you may not have to click continue reading you might could just click uh, view all chapters depending if yours is click to assignments only then it might it might not show you what's due but if you have it on all chapters then you can see that chapter 3 is where you need to go and then you can scroll down and find uh, the programming assignments <clears throat> right here that's due September the 11th and you click on that and that will take you here also so then once you get here you read the problem and then you watch this video okay so I'm going to start the video now and I'm going to hit that hello in this video and we're going to look at the to areas right of rectangles uh, programming I'm going to scroll problem over here to your about textbook. 10 minutes if area so 1 is greater than uh, area 2 is greater than area one um, well if that's true 10 then minutes not, and so really okay I'm gonna pause it right there this would be a great screenshot to send the screenshot to canvas this would be evidence that you watch the video and then this is also a picture of the code that you would need to type into Python and send the Python file that you type in you need to type it in and get it to run like he does in the video and then send this in to um, to Canvas, the, the PY file that this, so when you hit File, Save As, it'll save a PY file. And you send that into Canvas, okay? So you send the screenshot in for one of the Canvas assignments and you send the PY file in for the other Canvas assignment. And I hope that answers all of your questions and I hope you're enjoying the class and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.